Panthers Day Night, mi na tani tumerara, nili ya musho na kofi. Wee. Mwanaume anakushika hivi, anakuonga kicho na end hivi, na kicho ya mwanaume ni ngumu, remember I am in my periods, and they are painful. Anataka alare na wewe. Do you know what he did, Yvonne? Anakurusha mkono na hiyo vest, to clear up, alare na wewe. And he did it, and akamaliza. And I cried. Dirichuchukia. Hello, good people. Now, I have a question for you. What would make someone to leave their marriage just one week after their wedding? Now, today we have caught up with one lady who is here to share her story, a heartbreaking story of the reasons why she walked out of her marriage just one week after saying I do to the man she gave all her life to. Karibu sana, Sarah. Yes, yeah, Santi. Sarah, umetuambia a story yako kwa kifupi how you ended up in this marriage, but we would want to know from the very beginning, Sarah, unatoka wapi, unaitua nani, uh, ume grow up kwa situation in a card. First of all, I say thank you okay. for hosting me. Oh. We don't take it for granted. It is not for granted. Uh, then I say, my name is Sarah Mudoni Mwangi. Mm -hmm. I'm born ag again Christian. Ni mezariwa Kirenyaga County. Mahari pa naitu wakabare. Ada gishagi naitu wakiamishiri. So, I, feel, I did my class 8. Nika enda high school. Nika soma. Nikaenda form 2, form 3. Na nikafanya mti anuangu wa form 4. After poli pasu gani? I did secretariat. Nikafanya secretario, that is 2016. Na 2017. Allowed February, the principal called me. Akanyambia sarathe kuna shure hii ina tafuta secretary. And it is good, ujarimbu. Nika muambia si jamaliza exam. I was to do my final exam on July 2018. Mm. Now we are February. Nika muambia si jamaliza exam. Nika niambia enda tuwe ujaribu. Nika ina nika jaribu. Nandiraki enough, nika chukuliwa. So I'm now employed. Yes. Sasa nimepata kazi ya secretary. Na nilishukuru mungu. Mm. After a week, my former teacher at, in the college, I can begi, I can yuliza sarau ko happy. Nika mambi ni kona rombi. Can imbi a shure zimefungwa na nataka urudi usomeche. So it, I go back. Ni someche ni ruko na someche document processing, office procedures, iso. Mm -hmm. Some few courses is a secretary, wakati ushure zimefungwa, and I went back. So, nikasomesha mwezi mmoja. And after, nini, iyo mwezi ikiwa karibu kuisha, I used to talk, I, I used to share a lot with my mchungaji back home. Na he used to advise, advise me a lot. Tulikuwa tunashia a lot. Na, na wakati nimefika mwisho, he was telling me, Sarah usingiva. Mm -hmm. After this one month of teaching, mm -hmm. diyo nakucha kupatana na mbebi ndandi sasa. Halikuwa mm -hmm. jirani yako? No. Halikuwa na pita pita. Mm -hmm. Bari nilikuwa na kaa. Nilikuwa na kaa karibu na rami. So he used to pass a lot. Na hapo ndipo tulio nanea. We exchanged the contacts. And at that time, my baby daddy was so ravi. Haka niambia Sarah, nita kusaidia kutafuta kazi. Now before the graduation, eh? Yeah. Misi kuwa ika kwa nyumba indo. I remember I applied a lot of schools. And my graduation was on 9th November 2018. Akanisa India, alikuwa supportive. 
and uh, at this time alikuwa anafanya ni sahau mambo mengine ndikuwa napitia he is like he is trying to make me forget some things na kanishika mkono i graduated and after graduation that was the, on 9 9 november 2018 there was an advertisement at a, at Kenya secondary school it is in Kirenyaga and i said i will apply this one so i remember when i am on my way nikiwa sagana stage nikiwa on my way kupeleka ile barua one of muesh akanipigia from kirenyaga akanipigia simu akaniuliza sara uko wapi nikamwambia niko sagana na naenda kenya secondary mm -hmm. ku drop application ya kazi kulikuwa na advertisement akaniambia ni sawa lakini kuna mari nimekuonea kazi enda tu drop then kuna contact nitakutumia you communicate with that person she is the chief officer of Kirenyaga county now i'm here nimepata kazi we have to vacate ndio nikamia kutus kutus tumeyama na baby daddy tume move in Mume, tume move in mm -hmm. And this, this time kuna vitu zake kidogo kidogo ameamisha so we are staying in one house and after a few months akaniambia akanipa story yake na mimi nikampa story yangu mm -hmm. sababu haikuwa rahisi and i was like i don't want to get married this early kuna vitu nili promise ma lazima nitimishe mm -hmm. and he was like i will support you and because we had already sat down and planned for this and agreed on some things i was okay with it and when i am um, realizing i'm pregnant it is already 3 months na siko anajua so hadi tukiana nyumbani niko na ball na sijui hadi ni wakati huo ananiambia don't worry i want this he was supportive through very supportive mm -hmm na kunionyesha in a sense ya it can't work it can't go anywhere to remove na yeye from the one yeah. to the last moment nilikuwa nimebakisha miezi mbili miezi mbili niende ni derive mhm mm nilikuwa natoka kazini i received a call from a known number nikachukua kuchukua ilikuwa voice ya mwanamke akaniambia sara ujue na kujua nikamwambia ni sawa and she was like ujua si wewe wa kwanza kuza we pia sisi tumeza tumeza nikamwambia ni sawa na sababu tu pia nyenye mumeza mtu wa tarehe wa mtu wa tarehe wake acha de identify him no aku de identify mm -hmm. na akakata simu i called the baby daddy nikamwambia kuna namba imenipigia na sijui ni ya nani akaniambia nitumie i confirm whether i know the number and he called it was the wife ex wife na sasa hapa na ananiambia it is ex wife i had already started seeing zile red flags za kumuona ayuko na disappear na pia and i was like what is this unaniambia aji ni your ex wife kwani alirudi mm -hmm. akakata simu na kuanzia hapo tulianza kuvurugana kwa sababu the, the things he used to do now they may stop yeah. and i want to know this sasa unapata un, ni kama ka depression sababu you want to to know the root of this unataka akupe enough explanation you understand na tukakuwa na hiyo mvutano and siku yangu ya kupata mtoto siku ya kupata mtoto ilikuwa ile uchungu Tuna, in, uchungu inakuja inapotea inakuja hivyo inapotea mm -hmm. and i called him akaniambia niko kazi nitakutumia namba fulani ya taxi wewe ukipata uchungu mwambie akupeleke nitakupata huko mbele nikamwambia aji how can you tell me you are busy how busy are you mm -hmm kusahau bibi yako kwa nyumba na kwa karibu ku deliver 
nikamwambia mimi usinitumie na nini namba ya taxi nitakungoja ndi ukuje na akakuja around 8 at night that when nikapeleka hospitali na akaniacha after nimeadimitiwa kuniacha I, I called him later after kuniacha na mwambia kesho asubuhi niletee hii na hii but when the morning asubuhi <laughs> kifika mm-hmm. you see nobody so lingangana peke yako so lingangana peke yangu date 14 that's where valentine day ndio nilipata mtoto wangu a baby boy mm-hmm. i was very happy lakini sasa baby daddy hayuko sababu ya ile pain sasa nilikuwa hata nimemsahau mm-hmm. and i was like ako happy nikaambiwa kwa hapo nje So after kutureta alikuja again after immediately the baby was born around saa saba mchana akaona mtoto na akaenda that how he walked out na nivu na nivu he was never in your child's life alienda need your story i called my eldest sister kamwambia kumeenda hivi na hivi alitoka zima man akakuja nakakaa na mimi that one week and during this one week anapigia baby dania na muuliza what do you do ulifanya aji wewe mbona uliachilia mtu kama wewe uko hospitali ande kuja kumwangalia hakuna mm-hmm. alimwambia watu alimwambia <laughs> watu wao wako karibu watamchunga so alikuachanisha hakuna relationship so ikaenda papo so kama sasa utalea mtoto peke yako si jamii cup decision bado una bado uko na maswali uko na maswali unataka kujibiwa mm. because you are not planned to raise this child alone okay. na si kwa in me when i was growing mm. si kwa imagine nikilea mtoto peke yangu so i had a lot of questions ninde dancers mm. ikafika mahali mtoto wakati yako na around 8 8 month nikakaukiwa na maisha uko kazi people they are like sara uko na pesa but you have nothing yeah. at this point niliambia mama nitahamia nyumbani and i remember vacating nikapeleka vitu nyumbani ili sister huyu wangu amenifuata mm-hmm. anitekia care of mtoto as you go to work as i go to work nikavaket but within a week nikambiwa mechoka there is nobody to take care of the child i was to vacate again na when i'm vacating to home ushafanya shopping yenye uwezi rudishiwa mm-hmm. so ni kama naenda kuanzia life nyingine with nothing and i started ngo the house nikafari cha kidogo mm. na maisha ikaanzia tena so i told god it is me and my child we start afresh lakini depression ile ni konga yes you knew you are telling unajiambia unajiambia you may accept but inside your heart you are still hurting you are hurting Sijui ipo kama umeona umeona mtu akona depression venye anafanyanga mtoto. Mtoto analia tu kidogo hivi unagonganisha. Hmm? I remember those nights nilikuwa na kavuruta. Ivona unakafuruta kwa barabara. Tuna ni kupelekea babako. Sababu unafika mahali unasikia Ise si kitu nilikuwa na expect. And this time unavuruta mtoto kwa barabara na unataka kupelekea babake. Amre sababu sasa hata wewe umeshindwa. Mm. 
But I remember this day. I sat down inside my house. Hmm. I attempted Amanda. Nili chukua mtoto. Nika pereke asistangu yura menifuata it was on a weekend. Aku, una, aku wana suspect anything. Nili mwambia na enda tu mahali. I will come back for the child. I remember going back to the house. Nika chukua picha moja kwa ngari ali. I wrote her a very, nika attach a very wrong message. Ni tumie potiman. Potiman yura wa ashiru wa GP. Na wakati na, na mtumie yu message. Ni konandawa. Nataka ni kumye. And when I was writing this message, nilikuwa ni meria. And nilikuwa still I had written a very wrong note ni kajiacha kwa meza. And I sent the message. And at that point I was feeling like nitapata tu mtu wapi ata nikuja. Ani peha. It was pain. Sijui mungu alifanya anji Yvonne ni karara. I slept. And I over slept. So marindi ya mkia. Mi nidi ya mshu wana sabuti kiniambia aji Yvonne. Sara ni mekutoa mbali. Acha hizi mambo kiduoko isi kumarize. You have a great way to go. Yeah. And from that day, nikakuja nika nika jiambia, Sarah, I have to love myself first. Disipo wajipenda, hakuna mtu watakupenda. So I remained strong. And I used to go to work. Kila mtu wanaona una smile. But inside you, you are going hell. Mm. But I tried to adapt. And then I can heal. Mm. Through pro that process, you are healing. I got a friend. When you are in Shikam Kono, I can be a Sarah. You are going to. The, unenda, uh, the way you are surviving, it's sad. In Takusa, India. I can be a. In Takuan, the key house made. House help. I can be a way to put a house help. I'll, I'll be paying. You just pay the rent. I'll be doing you shopping and takuwa na kulipia house help and that's the only way I can help you for now. Na amekuwa na mimi ni mekuja ni kahil ni katoa wimbo yangu ya pili and I overcame that. Ukwe tuna ui mtoto wangu? Nikona ui tu mtoto wangu. Tena ni kakuja ni kakapenda. Siwezi taka kuona mtu wana munguza. I love that, that baby so much. This moment of healing has taken you to from a point where you had felt even you, you don't deserve to live. Sure. To the point now, you may accept the situation, you may accept you may heal. Yeah. But then, something else happens. You meet you may heal. Mm -hmm. And you are like, Sarah, Yule mwingine uliyampiwa ni bwana wenyewe. Make sure you don't pick bwana wenyewe this time. Mhm. Mm na nilikuwa nimependa kukuwa na mboma. And I used to tell God. Nilikuwa nimemwandikia the characteristics as I prayed. I nilikuwa namtajia. You know when you are praying for something it is good to be sure of what you are praying for. Wewe tu wende uambie Mungu nataka mbona. Which kind of a man? Mhm. Mm so you had a list? I had a list of yeah. what I want. And it was, I was very prayerful. This is what I want. And there is this day around April. I came across this man. Despite meeting him some few years back, he said, hi, hi. Now I have come to meet him. I have come to meet him. Facebook. I have come Facebook. He is like, how is you? Na kwambe mambo yetu ni kama ilienda ile ya ililash. How is you uko wapi? Can I meet you? Tukaonana and it was like the day tulionana ndio the day tulienda kumitu wazazi. 
the same day we meet the first yes, time? The first day, our first day to meet. Hiyo first day alikuwa asha kueleza anataka what? We day? had discussed the road lakini sasa ni ile far relationship. Ah. We are not together. Mm -hmm. We are like, unataka what kind of a woman would you like to have? Have you ever married again? Mm -hmm. Uh, which kind of marriage would do you yeah. deserve? We had talked that out. So you meet his parents? At this day, I'm going to meet him. Mm -hmm. He is like, I want you to meet my mom and dad. And I went. How was that? It was nice. Okay. Because I remember even after I'm going back home, I told mom. It's not really a dear mom. And I come on, be a mini me break on your bunny. And I have loved the parents so much. They were very welcoming. Mm -hmm. And I feel th th these are the kind of parents, the in-laws I would like to have. Yeah. And she was like, are you sure with what you want? Mm -hmm. are, you, are you ready? Are you ready yourself? I'm ready. And within a span of time, they gave out the day to come home. That was 15th July. Tulipata na April, and by July, anataka kuja nyumbani. Hii tunungilele ni 2023? Ni 2023, last mm -hmm. year. So waka kuja huu? Before waka kuja nyumbani, mm -hmm. nirienda kwa mchungaji wangu. Okay. Nikamuambia mchungaji, nimepata aman, na tumefika hapa, na wanataka kukuja kwetu nyumbani this date and you are, she, he was like mmeenda kwao what you are view and I'm, it's okay yeah. i'm ready for this akasema ni sawa sonda tunakunywa and for to kunywa sonda akaniambia make sure before ile date ya sonda ni memretea oh, that man okay mm -hmm. Na hiyo deti ya kukuja kuona mchungaji, alianzia asubuhi kusema anakuja. He is on the way coming, I'm the, on the way coming, nakuja. Until kafika saa nane. Nika wapikia mamaki ya kaniambia, aliniambia anakuja, sijui ya mefika wapi. Mm. Ikafika saa tisa. Wadu na mgoja. Sai saa tisa, ananipigia simu na makasiriko ananiambia ujui chenye napitia wewe kwani unadhani na kama maisha ile unakaa namwambia sasa na kama maisha gani sasa mm -hmm. here si maisha naka tunaenda kuona mchungaji and we end an appointment hakuna hakuna venye unasema irrelate na chenye tuna we are after mm -hmm. kanza kusema anafia and kutoka mari alikuwa it is a distance saa hii ananiambia ni saa 9 bado i'm trying to communicate with mchungaji na mwambia he stand up mahali anakuja bado anakuja akasema hata kama ni 6 i'll still wait you people saa 10 gonga and this time i was rusi and i was unataka nini ni fair una Chukua mboda maari uko, I'll pay for the mboda. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. Haka kuja, nikaripa mboda, and at this time nilimuambia sasa, you know how to explain to mchungaji. It is so unfortunate sababu wali mdanganya. Haka muambia mwaki harikuwa hospitali, harikuwa mgojo, that's why I married. That was a red flag. That you ignored. I ignored. Mm -hmm. Na siku ya, iyo siku, iyo after we were done with mchungaji, tukienda nyumbani sababu, nilikuwa ni mzindikisha ya hende mini hende kwangu. And we, as we, tra, we were traveling and niambia, sara kuna kitu nataka kukuambia. Nika muriza about what. Rorashio ni next week. Hey. Mbuna mnarash, between that time ya kumit na rurashio imekuwa hao na? Ilikuwa, between April, tuko, na April, May, uh -huh. June, July. July ni rurashio. July diyo tunayenda sasa rurashio, date 15. 
And sasa this one, we week tunaenda kuona mchungaji is one week to to borashia. I have something to tell you. Sina pesa za kutosha. And I want to tell my brother and is I need another some amount of money. Na ninataka nikienda nyumbani ni kupigia simu and whichever the question I will ask you say yes. Mhm. And I was like kama nikamwambia na sasa ukimuitisha ukiitisha hii pesa do you have any means za kurudisha? Mhm. Akaniambia before a certain date I'm very sure nitakuwa nimempata hizo pesa na nitakuwa nimemrudishia. Nikamwambia it is okay. So after he went home that evening he called. Akaniambia tuko na mama hapa, tuko na my brother and his wife na kuna ile issue tulikuwa tuna, tumeongea na wewe na unakumbuka nikuniguzia tu aliniguzia ya pesa fulani nataka kusaidiwa si tuliongea si tuliangri nikamwambia it's okay na nisijue na jiingiza kwa mtego sitawahi njitoa the man was given the money na siku ya rurasho ikafika na siku kwa, kwa hiyo rurasho he was like he was confused he was like am i doing the right way what is needed mm -hmm. sababu hii venye venye msichana huwa anatoka in hours tulisema hii let, let us do it differently and roi kwa tu natoka wakiwa na dance na ustahili ku dance na mtu sio wako mm -hmm. <laughs> and so he went and picked my cousin kwa kakura wimbo <laughs> no, that is the first group. Okay. I was in the second group. Mm. And it was no sasa brother yake hata dia likibia akamwambia hapana si huyu ngojea wako. And now I came out. And everything was nice the day ended well. And I was thankful to God. Mhm. Mm siku ikaisha. Awa kupewa harusi hiyo siku because whatever they gave out wali ambiwa endeni mkuja siku ingine before the proposed day ya harusi and they were it's okay sasa wakati wali rudi nyumbani mm -hmm. now it is it was the rush was on saturday the following week now the man called me kani ambia sara mambo si mazuri nikamuuliza kwa nini mm -hmm. wazazi wananikereresha wakiniambia niko na pesa just because kwa rurashio there was a video kwa rurashio i had invited my video producer ule tu wa wimbo hiyo wa wimbo nilikuwa nimemwambia sina pesa but pick this video for me wakati nitapata pesa nitakurudishia even the man maybe didn't know si hakuna pesa nilimpatia maybe mm. mentally aliassume aliassume sara akona pesa na kaniambia dada amesema you seem to have money so no support nikamwambia hivyo ndivyo amesema eh uko na pesa akaniambia there is amount my mom has for me so harusi sikujarishe harusi tutafanya lakini ongea na mam ajaribu kuongea na dad hii siku moja amepeana hii sasa ya kwenda kupeleka kitu ili mpeo ndeti harusi it be confirmed mm -hmm. sitaweza nasikia nimefinyika tutarudi after harusi after tumekana wewe tumejipanga mm -hmm. And now because I don't want to sleep with you before the arusi let them accept. And I saw wow this man focused. Focused. And at this time I used to ask him eh, what where do you see yourself two years to come? Yeah. Sababu so, I want them to to read his mind eh, whether this mm -hmm. whether it will work. And he used to tell me I want this 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 and I was like what are you doing to, to start? start. Mm -hmm. 
ananiambia nimejaribu hivi hivi lakini hapa utanisaidia. Namwambia ni sawa nitakusaidia. I talked to mom. Wakaongea na dad na kamiti kaanzia nyumbani ya harusi sasa. Harusi mm -hmm. tulikuwa tumeipeana ikiwa second September. Same year you met the last year. Well. Mhm. Mm na tukapanga nikachukua nika, nilikuwa na wasimamizi wachache mhm mm initially he had a lot of that like in the equipment walikuwa na chitoa mmoja 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 wasaidi yake wasaidi yake hata mmoja hakuna i hand nilikuwa na watu wengi sana wasaidi yako hao but there is this day it was kuinyesha september kulikuwa na mvo and I remember it was on Tuesday, very early in the morning, Pereka Mtoto Shure, the mother called. Can you listen to me? To go poor. I mambo naski ya Rusi. At that time, chunga juangu diyonge na yeye na to ka confirm mambo ya Rusi. I can imbe to tafanya ivi to ka enda marikuna endangwa to kujana na form na the churches now. Walikuwa sha andikiwa mbaru ya kuwa announce Arusi. Mm -hmm. Because here, hii church niko ni sababu ya kazi. So I have my home church na hea kona church yake. So the churches waka andikuwa hile mbaru ya kuwa ku announce mm -hmm. Arusi. And now, it is one week. Hile announcement ya first time ilikuwa isha amekiwa kwetu church. Mm -hmm. Now, na muuliza kwenu Arusi ili announceiwa. Nana niambia, eh, hey, ili anansiwa. Now it was on Tuesday, I remember very well. Nikuwa napereka mtoto shure the mother konda. Haka niuliza mkwaji tukopua mambo ya rusi na endelea aji. Bando tunayendelea kujipanga, nyinyi mkwaji. Kamiti imeanzia. Kaniambia huku hata hakuna kamiti na hata rusi ya ija anansiwa kwa chachi. Sasa ni mada indrua na kwa chachi. Ni mada indrua na niambia. Na muuliza hija anansi waji kwa church and I called the man yesterday na ita kaniambia msha announce mm -hmm. na kamiti ni kuanzia inaanzia nyumbani. Kaniambia ukua kuna kamiti inafomiwa. Okay. Nika muuliza sambambu, mm -hmm. kaniambia ni ulize the man. Nika pereka mtoto shure, nika enda kazini. And I was seated, I asked myself, where am I ending to? Kuna arusi ya makuna. Mm -hmm. You need answers. I need answers. Mm -hmm. So tunakuanga watu wawiri mari. Tunuwa tunasa indiana. Tunakuanga watu wawiri mari niko. And my workmate wakati ya likuja nilimuambia ni shikiria hapa. I have to rush somewhere. Ntakuja. And I remember ni kidienda kwao. Pira kuambia. Because I felt this not the way. Mm -hmm. You have to give me enough explanation. Wezi niambia, hakuna kamiti kwenu, harusi ya inja na unsiwa, there is nothing. Mm -hmm. And you remember we have one month to plan all this. Na si kitu raisi, okay. inaitanji pesa, mipango ni mingi ya kupanga. Mm -hmm. Na wakati njifika atau ni kukaribu na kwao, mamaki akapiga tena. Alikuwa nataka, kuna some things alikuwa na inquire and I'm like, I'm coming. So for one, I made a mistake to tell her I'm coming. Sababu siku nataka wajue, naenda, hmm. but I went. Kumpata, nilipata mwana umi ya kwa kwa nyumba. Sababu, at first nilipata na mama ke kwa ngeta kaniambia, ako kwa nyumba. Nika muambia dia nataka kuona. Even before I talked to her, mm -hmm. nikaenda nika muambia. And I remember immediately the mother and called, niri muuriza. Ati harusi ya hikuwa na msi wa kwenu. And he was mad. That you found out. And I niuriza nani ya mekuambia. Mm -hmm. Si hiku muambia nani ya riniambia. Now I'm here, ni mempata kwa nyumba. Amekatu. Ana niulizo mekucha kwa nini. Anda mlai kwa nini ya rusi ya hikuwa na unsiwa. Akaniambia pia yeni amejua saa hii. 
Nasikia. Mm -hmm. Last Sunday ya kuenda kanisa, but ariambiwa, ni kuambiwa, ariambiwa, arusi, ili ya nauzi, ili ni anusiwa. Did you confirm it you yourself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about mipango ya arusi? Do you have the committee? Kaniambia, mzazi, wazazi wali kata committee for me wakwao, but he has a group of people who are helping. And he showed me a big list of people. Nikama aliziandika that, that ndi akisikia naenda aliziandika. Akaniambia I have this list of people. Na kuna place ingine tuna meet and they are supportive. Dakini huku kamitia yuko. And I was like if you have friends who are supporting, supporting you, you mm. it is okay. I will try to join with my friends. You and you as we join together, and I'm very, I'm double sure we will make it, even without the parents. You were really determined you wanted mm -hmm. this to work. I wanted this to work. Mm -hmm. And I remember him calling mom, and I'm wereza venya, and I wanna venya kutakauka, and mom, even my mom, by the way, she was very supportive. Yeah. And even financially, arisi mama na yeye. Because I was telling mom, mom, this this is the kind of a person I want. The qualities, the characters, but as a single mother, ni kasa hau ni kona mtoto. Mm -hmm. What kind of a father figure do I want for this child? Yeah. Yes, I have gotten a man, but the, what about the father figure? Ni kasa hau na mtoto. But he knew you had a child. Yes, that, by the way, after I uni approach, the first, the first thing to tell you, I have a child. Uni katae unipende mapema. Usha juo kweli wangu. And I, I was, it is okay. It is now week ya harusi. Ndikuwa nimepewa rusa kazini. I remember nilipewa week mbili. Before and after. One week, one week. Ani kamuliza... Mambo ya harusi, by the way, imefika wapi. And there was like, hakuna, hakuna light. We end a WhatsApp group. Naka, it is like, hiko ina work. But it worked the last week. And I told God thank you. Mm -hmm. Because whatever I got from the group, I, I managed to pay the deposits. And as I pay the deposits, that week, it was on a Monday. That Monday, the only one I my deposit is a what? Come on, catering. Kuna ire percentage to ya gana. Naripa, naripa, naripa. Isu tini ya nabakisha. Then I'm like, <laughs> waiting to hear from the man. Akona ngapi? You know, he promised akona some amount of money to contribute to contribute it. towards mm. that. And I called the man. <laughs> the response was that the father had been ambia. Sara si kuzuri. Ni kamuri za kwani ni. Mi ni dito katu venye ni dito na tokanga. Ni merudi kwa nyumba ni kapata he kumeimbo. It seemed it seemed weird and to me ameimbo aji. Kani ambia TV yake na pesa. Ilikuwa kwa nyumba imeenda. So it means, hakuna pesa. Hakuna pesa. Ana nipatia ya arusi. It is how many days to the wedding at this point? Four days to the wedding. Well. Hakuna pesa na kupatia. Mm -hmm. Kau ni enye wa uja indea, hata ujui, itatoka wati. Mm -hmm. On Tuesday, three weeks to the wedding, diyo nilienda kujipie mangaunu. Mari nikuwa ni mendirektiwa. Mm -hmm. Na nikapata hile nga nilikuwa ni mejipima sometimes back. Nika ikaipoa. And I was like I want to change the nga unu. Na wakati unaenda kuangaria nga unu, that news ndi niko peke yangu. Ia risema na fea kutoka mari yako. And I was like sasa kuanzia kuprovide ya fair, let me go myself. And I was very okay. By the way, I was very okay. We used to agree things. Mm. Niko sawa. Sasa nikaambiwa sababu nimebadilisha ngao, 
ni kujia on that day hiyo imeosha imekauka nikarudi mbira ngao na hotuko on wednesday on wednesday he is like he want to go to pick the cloth ile yake ya harusi and this time ananiambia deposita kulipa you sent him money for the you remember i sent 3k for the deposit nikamuuliza haji ukulipa mhm akaniambia unakumbuka yule mama yetu ana tutengenezea cake kamwambia inakumbuka vizuri ndiko naenda kumvisit na nikaona si taenda mkono mtupu so i used the money to do the shopping and the transport that's why i didn't pay the deposit Where? and i was did you tell me ukuniambia mm. so it is two days to the wedding so you have to provide the full amount na wewe mwenyewe yako uja jishughulikia unashughuli unamshughulikia but i had promised to stand with him singe mwacha mm. i sent them money but sasa hata sikupata usibizi sababu mnajaribu kufanya hizo calculations zinakosa meaning mm. at this point at, the, at that middle of the night i remembered tunaenda harusi lakini sijui alimuni tunaenda wapi i end a phone number of a certain manager of a certain hotel i wrote a message that night around sana na nakubuka nikamwandikia message nikamwambia i have been so busy to niko na harusi kesho prepare a room for me i will send you the deposit then the rest tutaongea nikikuja hii ni mambo ingepangwa na mzee si mimi sasa unaona na nikaona for sure sara maybe unajio huku andi umetafuta room uende <laughs> unajipeleka unajipeleka yeah. yani it is like kwa harusi ndio hii venye msimamizi anafikanga mapema trista na kupanga panga alicherewa and i was mad sasa i was like ngao nafungwa na nani vitu mingi and i was told acha stress mm. well, it is your day ndio mm. nilifungua simu nikapata we amejaribu kupu, kupika masimu mingi but i picked no, none because i, I told god venye umepanga hiyo ndivyo itakuwa na nikapeana simu niwekewe and now i was ready for this day msimamizi alikuja odhu a bit rate na kaniambia the reason as to why she came late they first of all waited for him sababu ni kama walikuwa na shuku this man can fail mhm sababu walikuwa wamempikia asubuhi pia akawaambia sina kiatu and they told him come we will provide and they provided the body mushroom yeah mhm na harusi kakuwa so karafu now it is our honeymoon <laughs> na nilikuwa nasikia watu wananiuliza sara how was your honeymoon and i was like what what is that moon how do you mean you booked a hotel i wish i can take myself out for a vacation with my son i enjoy whatever other people say joy i didn't enjoy my honeymoon what happened yes since you booked the hotel mm-hmm. Ira room in the book it seemed to be so very expensive to him. Alisema hii ni pesa natupa. And he asked the receptionist, is there another room? Akambua eh hey, kuna zingine. Now and you unjua tayari umetayarishiwa ile. And you know I had chosen the best because I need the best for our day. And still I cho- I had choose the best because I uh, I wanted him feel yeah, appreciated. appreciated and I used to talk to him as Gione as Gione like I'm doing things you are the one mm. because I even paying bills I sikwa naripa mimi mwenyewe and nazira nililipa mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa nawaambia embungo jeni bwanangu anitumie pesa ni kutumie just because i don't sikuwa nataka watu waone ni kama ni mimi na provide mm. so i tried to cover him 
due to the, res the respect I had for him, I covered him. Tukaenda kwa honeymoon, tukabadurisha room. We freshened up, tukaungea, tukafika into a point. Yani we just, we had fun, tukasema sasa let's go back to our phones. Tuwana ni njoksi zipi zimerusha na marafiki zetu. And me, the first messenger I met was from the brother. Nitumie zile pesa ni munili mkopesha. That way ndi muna ete. Remember during the rurashio eh? Na nikakumbari. Aja text mwana ume ni mimi ya metext. Nitumie ni zile pesa ni mkopesha. And I shared with him. Nika muambia brother kwa meni text. Haka niambia ni mtumie zile pesa ni tukopesha. Nika muaka niambia just broke him. Anastahili kutupe time kwanza. Sinaitisha pesa mbahandai. Mhm. I broke the him and to Kalala, we are here. The second day was on Sunday. Around Sasamba, Mchana, I can you reza, to kill Mari too, I can you reza Frani Dinami. Because I knew the name, Nikamwambia, he is my workmate. Anafanya kwa, bing, kwa bank forani, mm -hmm. dia uwa na nisaindina mambo ya cash usu wakati they need payment. Kaniambia it's okay. Na huyo mwingine ni nani? Mtu munaweza shia na ye mambo yangu. Nani kwako? And I was like, who is this now? Mm -hmm. Na at that point, kaniambia, ah, hacha tu. Nivire nirisikia ukiota usiku ukitancha mtu forani, lakini hacha tu. We are... Mandi. Meru diho. Pana. Kwa tu hane muni yetu. Na kubuka mado, na jiuriza, kwa nini ya liniambia? Ali niuriza hile maswari. Furani ni nani, furani ni nani. Na mimi wasi yoti ni kiongea ino myself. Na hizo sasa ni meziweka tu pending. Now we are on Mandi. And I'm like, tusiende leo nyumbani. Although, nilikuwa nimepewa this one week ya kupumzika, and we have a lot to do, lazima tuhami kwa hile nyumba yangu, we can't settle in the house I was living. We have a lot ahead of us, lakini ya mbutu jipe hii mande pia, tupumzike. On Wednesday, tukaenda nyumbani. Sasa, together now as a family. And I was making jokes, can you tell me now what you are going through? Sababu tuko pamoja, can you open up, you tell me what you are going through? And at this point, he's like, he don't want we talk about it. Nikamuamki, it's okay. When you feel the time is good for you to tell me, utaniambia. I will give you the time, the time which you deserve, na utakuja kuniambia. On, sasa, yyo, when is the morning, tulipereka mtoto na yeye shure, by the way. Tukapereka mtoto shure, tukarundi. And he was making jokes, like I said, my head, I feel good, Sarah, thank you. By the way, I love him so much. Kuku appreciate she, He used to appreciate a lot what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And that Wednesday, I can appreciate. We spent one day, and the day ended well. We are on Thursday. On Thursday night, na kubuka swali ni diuri swa kwa kwa ane mon frani ni nani. He went through the phone. Me na dan to merara, ni dia mucho na coffee. Where? Nka muri zo me ni gongi ani ni. Zire message zire kuwa kuwa se mu zire nda wa happy. And he is like, uyo mtu muri kuwa muna discuss na e mambo yangu venye siwezi ku support. You know, even the venye ari chukua that mentor venye ari chukua. Ali chukua in another way. I couldn't expect. Because at this point he felt like ndikuwa na share weaknesses zake na mtu mwingine. But he didn't know I was trying to express myself to a few friends. At least I get help. Support, yeah. And the support. Aku chukua hivu. Tuli chapana. 
This is not even a week after the wedding. It is not even Ajaisha. Vita. Mwanaume anakushika hivi anakuonga kichwa na end hivi na kichwa ya mwanaume ni ngumu and is like nataka ukweli. Mtoto wako wapi wakati? We use we are in one bedroom mm -hmm. and the bedroom is big so wako kwa bedroom. So wanasikia vurugu. So wanasikia vurugu. Na kitu irini ya irini umiza mm -hmm. Mtoto wangu alistuka kwa sababu hiyo commotion alistuka aliria and my sister was like ni nini kubuka si, my sister uh, she is still in the house mm. anauliza mwanaume ni nini na anamwambia achana na huyu ni mtoto tu ako naye hakuna kitu nimemfanyia she is crying out of nothing asa hiyo umeumia umekongwa kichwa unasikia kama itakapasuka <laughs> on saturday our last day together wakati that's the wakati ni rais anachukua simu yangu nilibadilisha password sikuwa na badilisha password sababu kuna kitu na mficha mm -mm. That that's the, that Friday I had sent my sister kwa duka na simu yangu na atumie mpesa. Na mara mingi nikituma sister yangu na simu yangu akirudi huwa nabadilisha password ili asikuwa tempted kuichukua tena and I withdraw pesa nayo. I changed the password. Mm -hmm. Not knowing na chokoza nyuki mimi mwenyewe. <laughs> Ira masaa tena saa sita. Mchana Saturday night. Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Coffee tena. Well. Ulibadilisha password kwa nini? Nini una ficha? Nikamwambia kuna kitu na ficha mimi. Si ni wale wanaume niliona wamekuchat ndio unajaribu kuficha. Nikamwambia mimi hakuna venye naweza come into a decision kukupeleka kwa madhabahu nikiwa with a second mm -hmm. nikiwa na second thoughts ama nikiwa in a, in a state that i have to double deal you no and that why i have been trusting with you with my password na tena unge come na, in a right way bado ningekupatia password mm -hmm. singe kunyima but unaniongea nini ikakuwa ni vita remember i am in my periods and they are painful Unajua alifanya nini? Ariniambia you pro, do you want to promise somebody else to sleep with you? Remember kuna wale majema walikuwa wameniandikia wewe fanya harusi lakini anemuni yetu. And at this position he is like you want to go to sleep with other people. That how you are pray, that how, that what you are planning and that why you are changing the phone password. Nikamwambia hapana. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo na plan. akatoa vest. You are on your periods. Painful. Anataka alale na wewe. Do you want do you know what he did even? Ana insert that vest to clear up the stains. Analala na wewe. It's painful. Kuna wale huwa na kuna wale huwa wanaumwa sana na tumbo during periods and it is painful. So is like anakurusha mkono na hiyo vest to clear up alare na wewe. And he did it and akamaliza. And I cried. Dilichuchukia. And that at that time I asked myself which kind of a decision did I make? Full of regrets. Na after Maria chenye alikuwa anataka kufanya aliingia kitchen. Now saa hii ni saa nane. Akaingia kitchen, nikasikia akivuruga vuruga huko na alikuja amejishika somehow here. 
kulikuwa na stima but akakuja akazima stima but i spotted a small knife i used nilikuwa naitumia kukatakata nyanya a small green knife nilikaona na siku dara mimi niliketi nilijivuta hivi kwa kitanda i sat down nikamwambia nikamuuliza unataka kufanya nini sasa nimejawa na uoga mm. you know what he asked me sara nikaitika do you know the reason as to why mwanaume huwa anajiua anaua mbibi wanakufa wote wawili nikamwambia hapana mm. kaniambia ni sababu ya hizi sasa hii mambo ya simu nikamwambia simu nikamuuliza simu imefanya nini na hakuna kitu nimekuficha kwa simu and whatever ungeniuliza kwa hiyo simu ningekujibu mm -hmm. ni nini mbaya you are not dealing me with another person and i was like this is too hard to double deal you mm -hmm. why hey Yvonne, i saw this is my end now remember nimekuwa single all through even if I have gone through hardship, yeah. And this is just a week after you. And this is just a week after my wedding. Nasai mm -hmm. za zile za leo ni mtu mmoja aende jera, mwingine aende mochari. Hiyo ni kitu anakuambia yeye. Hiyo ni kitu ananiambia yeye mwenyewe. And at, at this point I told God God, you know what I end print. Yeah. You know what I have get. Simjui. Sijui ni mimi nilifanya makosa ya kulash. But in whichever way it has already happened and this is not what I want. Mm. Between kujuana na yeye na siku ya wedding ili last how long? How many Months did you know each other for? Mm -hmm. Ndio mfike kusema I do. It is around 4 to 5 months. Around 5 aramu ya sister ngui career kwenda shule it was on a Saturday. She was in form the last year. So she went to go. Yeah. Aramu ya career. Na nikamwambia call my mom. Mwambia kuje. So ni sister kunaambia. Ni sister kunaambia sina simu. Mhm. Mm but at night nilijaribu bado kupigia mama but I could pick sister yangu akampigia na exactly at 6 mama alikuwa amefika kwa nyumba mm -hmm. at this point mama anakuja kwa nyumba alinipatia simu lakini simu wakati tulikuwa tunakora usiku ni kama ilikonga chini kioni kama mm -hmm. imeisha mama akakuja tukaongea and everything was like it's okay. He was crying, saying sorry. Ni akiulizwa nasema it is the devil na hata wairudia tena. And at this point he was like, "Mom, kume happen hivi na hivi na Sara amekupigia, umekuja." Wakati mimi nitajipata kwa shida kama hii na unajua wazazi wangu sio supportive, what will I do? And my mom was here. Alimwambia wewe ukipata shinda just like the way Sarah has called me. Call, call me. Yeah. I'm siding with no one but the truth. Yes. As long as out and in Danganya, not in Danganya. To Kangri, and our Katu Bado to Nongea, I was to go to Saron because Monday in Kokazi. And when you make a tana, also in Maka. Sikuwa ni toke inje ni sionekane na watu. I called my star honest ni kamuambia kuja kwa nyumba. Unishukie uku. Mamu akatuambia muwacho salama na karudi kazini. Tukajwa. I went, I took a shower. And when I was taking the shower, the man came. Nifungulia mrango. Nikamuliza, ni kuoga na oga. Si ungoja ya ni marize kuoga, ni toke tuunge. 
I want to sleep with you inside the bathroom. So ni fungurie murango. Mtoto wako kwa kiti. Mm -hmm. So alipo sikia kwa kwa argument, mtoto alikuja. Naka mpata kwa kwa murango. And he was like, we umekuja kufanya nini? Embu rudi na uko, uka wachi katoni zako. Ni mtoto wanaambia hivo. Rudi na uko. Waka mpush. Mtoto waka rudi kwa kiti. So wakati ya naongeresha mtoto, na mi najipanguza panguza maji, ni kajifunga reso. Ni katoka. Kutoka, alikuja kani ruta. Kani rusha mbedu. Kani ambia, embu ni pecha nye unanipen before uenda kushugulikia mtoto. And I'm like, we can't do this. Mtoto wakiwa hapa. Sababu hafta kuambia mtoto wee enda na huko na kumurusha nisha. Ariena na akarudi. Haka tufuata bedroom. Na nika muambia, I am going, I am not going to accept this one. Because when I accept it today, it will be a continuous thing. Utakosea mtoto wangu eshima. Na pia mimi utanikosea eshima. That you can sleep with me any howdy. In any way you feel, any time you feel, before anybody. Mtoto alipata uwoko hakarudi kwa kiti. Nikaenda kwa kiti, nika muambia, embu nipatia mtoto uji, nimpeane kwa neimba, and if we are going to kuoro, let it be between us. Simbere ya mtoto. Kaenda mahari mtoto harikuwa. Haka, haka kuja. Haka niambia unajua aji, pia mi niko na maitaji yagu si mtoto tu. Na kama huyu di atafanya usinitimishia chenye nafanya, kafathari ni muondoi. And I saw it like a movie. Alichukua meza. Ile meza alichukua, palikuwa na ingine ya keo. So wakati ya inuwa meza wakonge mtoto na ayo, Ikiyo ya chini, ikagonga ingine ya kiyo. Ikavujika mara katha. And the big part, ikamkata uso. Ikakata nani? Ikakata wanaume. Ok. Mtoto haku umu. So before meza, ni mungu. Mungu na mipango yake. He actually wanted to hit the child with this meza. Na remember, siya umesikia mesema haji, kama huyu di atafanya nisipate haki yangu, pia mi ni kona haki yangu, hafadhari ni muondoi. Bati mungu ni nani? Iyo kiyo ili mkata. Akakato hapa. And I'm like, am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? Nikachukua mtoto. Nikampreka kwa nimba. Wakati huu natoka na lesu tupu. Andi ujifikiri zara unanguo. Nilitoka na lesu. Nikaenda na kape mtoto nimba. Nikapikia mchungaji. Nikamuliza yura mchungaji alitusimamilia. Aa, uyu alitunganisha mbudha ni wachungaji wote wawili. I called him. Nikamuliza mchungaji uko wapi. Haka niambia ni kwa kwa kanisa. Kuja kwa nyumba. Kuna shinda? We tu kuja. He came. The second person to call was my mom. Nika uliza mamu kwa api. Dio nafika kazini. Remember alikuwa metoka tu kwetu a few minutes ago. No, this... All the same thing. Do you remember this morning sister angu... Kukapulo Jifiana. Before sister angu waenda shureni alikuwa memuita na tukaunga na mambo ikakua sawa. So nika alikuwa nafika kazini ya kuwa mefika. Nika muambia ke uka rudi. The worst have happened. Ata misi juni kuereze aji. So the moment the, uh, I am waiting wafike, uyu jamaa alitoka kama mejishika hivi na andika chief. Haka niambia ni meenda hospitali na rudi. Haka muambia sawa. So my mom wakati ya nafika, na mchungaji wakati ya nafika, awaku mpata. Halikuwa mm -hmm. shato. Haka nika muambia, meenda hospitali na wamesema, wanarudi. Embu tuingie, muone venye kumifanyika. They witness it my, themself, kusiseme kane na, na ongea kitu haiko. Mm. They came, and my mama aristuka. 
we talked with the mchungaji hapo for some minutes na mam sababu sasa ametoka kazini singe muita tena akasema akirudi mwanaume akirudi sasa make sure ataka kwa hii nyumba mchungaji ifo ndivyo aliambia yeah. mchungaji make sure hautamwacha kwa hii nyumba because we don't know what next na mam akaenda na mchungaji akarudi kanisa I and also called the msimamizi akaniambia wako na meeting so they and they were going the same meeting with mchungaji mm -hmm. wakaenda that meeting and around saa nane, simba ndo nashuka kwa nyumba sasa around saa nane sasa wakakuja wote wawili msimamizi na mchungaji mm -hmm. and I was told not to clear up the mess because the house was full of blood and that brand and me nilishanga alikata tu hivi although it was deep but venye damu imetapaka kwa nyumba ni kama mtu alikuwa anafanya fanya hivi inaenda ikimwagika kwa nyumba isemekane like i did it i did something wakakuja that sanane mchungaji sababu huyu alituunganisha alikuwa ashaona mm -hmm. nao alikuwa anataka msimamizi a witness akaenda wakaenda wakaangalia and at this moment wanakuja walikuja na yeye sababu alimpigia simu wakamwambia usirudi kwa hiyo nyumba kama hatuja kuja mm -hmm. just wait us where you are tutakuchukua tutaenda kwa nyumba so they were there akakuja akawaambiwa can you explain us how this happened akasema imeza alikanyanga imeza ilikanyanga aji ikavujika ikakuruka mpaka ika ku, andi ika uso hata yeye ajui lakini yeye venye anasema andi anajaribu ku demonstrate venye alikanyanga na ikakuwa ni hivyo ni hivyo we talk the rot but most of the things akuongea ukweli and at this point I, i was making my conclusion i told mchungaji venye amesema inaweza kuwa ni ukweli na venye amesema inaweza kuwa si ukweli the same to me venye nimesema inaweza kuwa ni ukweli na inaweza kuwa ni kumdanganya nimemdanga nimemdanganya mm -hmm. but the truth is in us he know the truth i know the truth and at this position i was asking myself if he is cheating and i know the reality what if i say he says sorry i accept what will it nitapata mm -hmm. nini remember my mom when he was walking out aliambia mchungaji after the, your discussion make sure huyu mtu ajaacha kwa nyumba So at that point mchungaji akamu akasema we have to give our safe time waenda kwenu acha huyu mufikirie kama mlikuwa na haja na ndoa and if you knew the meaning of what you were doing a month or two two, two months or three mtakuwa mmejielewa mm. akaulizwa ni nini chako kwa hii nyumba unasikia unaweza mbemba akasema mchungaji huku ni nguo zangu tu. So hakuna kitu alikuwa ameleta. Hakuna kitu alikuwa ameleta. Mhm. Mm Akaambia utambemba. Akasema kwanza atambemba tu ID nguo atakujia baadaye. Na wakatoka wakaenda. Nikaachwa. Sasa hivi unatoka unaulizwa huko nje au is the marriage? Hakuna mtu anajua marriage ni end. Mhm. Mm that pain sai unajaribu kujikaza i don't cry before my child ni wasiri mtoto wangu akiniangalia mhm mm -mm. unajaribu kujikaza wakati ya taria ndio una break wakati ya talara ndio una break hadi sister yangu alikuwa ananiambia he hata hakuna kitu nasikia wewe lakini they don't know what i go through after they sleep Did you ever report any of this to the authorities? He amefanya ya kwanza si ku report. Mm -hmm. And just called wachungaji, waka witness my mom. 
remember the ma the uh, nini babake na mama yake wako mbari awange kuja at mm. that moment so we didn't, didn't call them and so when he went akusema chenye kimefanya ende nyumbani a week a two a two weeks three weeks where you kaisha i called the mother nikamuuliza mamu kwa aji tukopoa frani yako nyumbani eh na najaribu kumuuliza bona amekaa hivi nyumbani bona sikuoni anijibu but remember still i take you back a bit this this saturday night mm-hmm. tukivutana hiyo tukipigana wakati alivuja meza nilimwambia shuari umevuja meza ileleto na mtu ilikuwa zawandi Mwenye rileta hii kitu is the only person who knows the pain of buying it. And that point aliniambia hata ukiona huku hakuna anything ndikuja nayo zangu ziko kwa mama Alex. Who is mama Alex? Who is mama Alex now? You have never known. So at this point I'm calling the mother ni muuliza kama the boy the man has explained anything ndio sasa nilimu explainia what happened and the mother was like are you sure of what you are saying i said yes do you have the evidence mm-hmm. i said yes and he was like ah he can't do that nikamwambia it's okay mommy if he can't do that siju bona unamtetea nikamwambia nikamuuliza mama before atoke kwangu kwa nyumba aliniambia hata nikiona there is nothing he came with vitu zake ziko kwa mama furani can you tell me kindly who is this woman mm-hmm. arizima simu okay. paka wale arizima simu that moment mm-hmm. nikafikia yule mama yetu alikuwa anatutayarishia keki she was so close to the family I called her nikamwambia nikamweleza what has happened na nikamwambia mambo kadhaa nichunguzie and so within a week I end a response Huyu mama Alex naambiwa she is the wife This man has been married mm-hmm. all along She has m- Na unakumbuka kiulizo kama amewahi yoana akasema hapana wazazi wake familia yake hakuna mtu aliweza kukuambia and now i'm like what was the reason behind marrying me oh, no. akijua ameacha mbibi mahali na mtoto wa miaka 2 na miezi kadhaa what? what was the reason behind and alex is the son alex is the son named after the father na hadi babake yako ainiambia kuna mtoto kwa hiyo mboma at what point did you decide to go to the police and explain your case to the police the time i decided to go to the police now who i malina fanya kazi na marina ka it is sonia na wakati mwingi ni naendanga lunch kwa nyumba so it is a normal day i'm going in the house for lunch kufika kwa nyumba na ambiwa na reason name but do you have visitors nikamwambia no your husband plus one other person who are here they are looking for you na at this time sasa nasema hata kama una react kama una anje na mimi usiwahi fikiria kwa maisha yako kutawahi kuwa na divorce it is either i kill you <laughs> or no divorce So this time naambiwa ameonekana kwa nyumba na kubuka ile threat threat Na niliambiwa washa washaenda mimi sikukula lunch niligeuka tu nikarudi kazini na njaa yangu Kurudi kazini after work now kwenda kwa nini kwa soko kurudi kwa nyumba and I was she went at rudi around saa moja mrango ukagonga gongwa tena sifungua ngi mrango kama sijachungulia ni nani anagonga gonga nikaona ni yeye sikufungua remember the threat nikamuuliza 
uko na namba yangu ya simu kabla utoke kwenu hadi ufike huku mbona ungeniambia unakuja umekujia nini Yesra ikifungua mrango tuonge nikamwambia niambie chenye unataka hapo akakuja akaniambia kuna basha niliacha huku kwako iko na dokumenti zangu fulani ndio nataka nifungulie nikuonyeshe mahali niliwe niliweka nikamwambia huku hakuna dokumenti eni yako nimeona na in case niipate nitatuma msimamizi akulete and he was it's okay tukasikia mrango umeuzwa at this ni hii wiki anakuja shule already zimefungwa sikuwa na trust sikuwa na sikuwa confident na security ya mtoto na sister yangu nikawachukua nikawapeleka kwa sister yangu mkubwa so at this moment anakuja niko peke yangu kwa nyumba and he was it is okay utatumana tukasikia nikasikia mrango umeuzwa and he went huwa tunaletewa maziwa mwenye utuletea akakuja akagonga gonga tukatoka na nimba and we made jokes there tukacheka we made jokes not knowing he is still in the compound ta kutoka so wakati mi narudi kwa nyumba wakati mingi sifungangi burango and at this time i'm like embu nifunge hapa juu you never know nikiwa kwa jiko na pika nika nikapata message ya nimba embu funga kwako vizuri your money is still around na ustoke nje sema kustuka sasa anataka nini mm. saa tatu akakuja akagonga gonga mlango tena nifungulie kuna taka kunye kunyesha at this moment i called the mother my mother in law nikampigia nikamwambia your son is here na nasema 1 2 3 did you know akaniambia we mfungulie hata mimbia na umbaya nikakata simu and inside me i was like was you kwani ulikuwa unajua huyu mwanaume anakuja you know whatever he did and you are like mfungulie he has been threatening me na kuambia unaniambia he can't do that alikuwa anamtetea tu and at this point akakuja akagonga gonga mrango akaniambia nifungulie nikamwambia nikamuuliza this round unataka nini akaniambia nataka unisaidie nikusaidie na nini nataka kuna document nataka nafaa kulipoti nazo kazi na sina nakamuuliza about documents document kama hizo unaniuliza good conduct uchukuliwa saimba ama huduma before utoke kwenu ufikange huko singe nipigia simu i direct you and is we fungua mrango nataka tuongee na we face to face na wakati nilikataa at this point it was like fungua tu dirisha and at this moment i had viewed the story of a certain lady mulikuwa mna interview ari mwageri wa send kwa uso sijui either you or rin and i was like fungua tu dirisha i said no na siku mwenye siku muongeresha tena alika hapo saa sita ikagonga kukaanza kunyesha my name bahu ana ingia red so in the morning was like i met you and guy here outside na sijui alienda nyumbani saa ngapi nikamwambia it's okay now here it's the day ya ile message nilikutumia mm-hmm. the first time we spoke the first time we spoke mm-hmm. Nimekuja wakati ameenda ndim block kabisa na nika block messages everywhere nika block the mother the father anybody from the family for my peace of mind mm. ndim block kabisa and at this time wakati alikosa ene mean ya kunifikia alitumia my cousin one of my cousin akamu approach facebook akamwambia how he loves me na hakuna mtu wa kwetu akorede kumsikiza at this time ana communicate na yeye the cousin is also communicating to me ananiambia fulani amenitumia message 
ameniambia hivi na hivi ana screenshot ananitumia I sent the nini wakati ana approach the cousin the wife now alikuwa ameni approach through Facebook yule niliambiwa mama Alex sasa ndio na meet face to face sasa si face to face through kwa Facebook I met a message ananiambia Thank God you are out of that marriage. Na usifikiria kurudi. And I'm like who are you? I'm this and this. Mm -hmm. I was married to your husband. And this happened. Na meniacha na mtoto sahi yako na miaka 2 na nusu. Don't try to go back if you are rough your kind and this as in you know na kumbe ni kweli kuna mtoto na kuna bimbi and because i had felt the pain ile ya kwanza ya kuachwa na mtoto mdogo nikaingia kwa kiatu ya huyu mama kuachwa na mtoto mdogo si rahisi na you can't succeed as a man if you go to marry some some your health Umeacha bibi mahali analia na mtoto anajaribu kukuambia nifanyie hivi mm. you are like you don't care and you are like nikimove on it work it can't And at this moment wakati anafikia kazini yangu nilifund picha ya bibi yake kwa kazini yangu nikamwambia can you ask him whether she knows he knows that man <laughs> Nilitafuta ande na inaitwa anga waji private numbers wewe na yura nani ya limit mwingine who approach each other and at sijui what happened message kaingia sasa zile message ni mingi ile nilikutumia it was among many others akaniambia sara nimekupea miezi ngapi tatu if you remember the message mm. if you think that period of divorce you are thinking you will file a divorce itafika ukiwa uhai you are cheating yourself tag the dcis <laughs> and any other authority i fear no one and i am coming for you ameituma usiku Niambia kama utakula. Wewe atalala. Atakudara au tarara. Niambia ulipeleka hizo vitu zote kwa authorities. The following day. Okay. <laughs> Nikaenda nika report. Mhm. Mm Nikaandikwa ombi. Enye niliambiwa it is like I keep communication in in case apatikane nililipot achukuliwe. Okay. Because at that time alipigiwa simu wako anachukua. Mhm. Mm Zilikuwa zinaingia ana ignore. So and at he, some time akafunga mm -hmm. simu says you can now be number from the police yes have you reported to this because yes. when someone i called my I, by the i near after picking uh, nini the ob nilienda kwa nirudi kazini i went i talked with one of my bosses i can connect na dci mm -hmm. tukaongea na dci through his phone and i gave out the story and akaniambia This, most of the times the CI wa na ingiria mahari una una na mtu ujui mm. but this at this point i know who is threatening me yeah. and the only thing i can do is pick a lawyer divorce me a device pick a lawyer file the divorce and that's what i did mm -hmm. but remember three Once. month na mkiongea na lawyer anakuambia it It takes four to seven months according to your cooperation. Na wakati huu unavumilia tu ukisema the divorce is in the process bado wana kudreaten. Wewe na hataki muachane kwa uzuri. Hataki tuachane kwa uzuri. Says you vile unaishi every day do you fear for your life at a marine life? Very. Mm. Siwezi toka kwa nyumba usiku. I can't let anywhere. I can't go anywhere anytime I want. 
you are like in kama mtu amefungiwa ina cage so you live in fear yes i live in fear mm. bearing in mind you are in fear because of you stood with this person mm -hmm. and at this time you know i was i was i was thinking i was trying to figure out to figure out there eh? why is he acting and threatening all this number one akona and denial ya kuachwa is like wizi niacha na kama ni kwenda tunaenda na wewe for yeah. you right now why did you choose to speak up and share your story because i wanted it to be a lesson to another person okay. mostly to a single mother mm -hmm. when you are making a decision to get married usijiangalie wewe mwenyewe mm -hmm. angalia mtoto imerak the qualities you want and you deserve but what kind of a father figure are you looking at for mm. your child sababu if i am to die today because you don't know ana sababu ako hivi hivi na hapatikani mwenye nitacha akiumia ni nani ni mtoto rizo i found my desires more than what the child deserved for you because you have shared your story in as much as it was such a painful experience for you yes what is it you hope to achieve maybe someone is watching you and uh, they would want to know how can mm. you be helped how do you want to see your life changing for the better what can you say to that <clears throat> what i'm hoping currently even mm -hmm. number one venye hii divorce itaenda through okay Remember I have three months already a month is gone. Mhm. Mm Niko na miezi mbili. Hii miezi mbili ujui ana plan nini. And you don't know your tomorrow because I'm living in fear. Yeah. And ni mari ni napeleka mtoto shule na waambia huyu mtoto asiwai asiwai chukuru na mtu mwingine except me. Mm -hmm. And if anybody else comes first consult me because I'm in fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Are you comfortable sharing maybe a contact information yes. or an email address someone who wants to reach out to you they can use that to maybe get in touch with you? Yes, sure. Okay. You can look at this camera and share that number. Yes, my number is 07 97 10 30 51. Which name will show? The Sarah Mudoni Mwangi. Sarah Mwangi. All right. Yes. Sarah, thank you so much for trusting us with your story and coming all the way from Kutus to come and give us your experiences, yes. even with the aim of trying to enlighten people there to learn from your experiences. That is commendable. From Tuko family, we do hope that you get the protection that you need. And if there's a lawyer out there who is able and willing to support this lady to walk this journey the rest of this journey with her to help her get one justice and process this divorce amicably and for her to be assured of her safety well thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the show my name is Yvonne Kawira till next time keep it to go